What's going on my fellow knights? My name is Galvin Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Trevor Creature Simulator in Roblox and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get seven of the badges in the game. So let's just get right into it. The first one is called Warbox. War? Reward? The Nuclear Siren. So this is going to be a little bit different than usual. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these things right here. Uh, we need one of them that can fly. All right. So we are going to pick this thing right here because it can fly. Uh, and it might be a little weird to you guys. But once you see the map, if you haven't already seen it, then you will definitely know. Uh, so we actually want to go over here. I was a little lost. Uh, I don't want to go over it. So let's go to the map right here. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over here to the snow area to get the war box badge. All right. When we're in the snow area, you want to go to this lake right here and go to the tank. All you got to do is run up and stand on it and the badge is yours. But we are going to be using this fly guy for every badge so far in the video because this map is massive. It's actually way, way too big. Uh, so for the second badge, it is called Virus Head. Hey, don't touch the computer. So for this badge, you want to head over to this tower right here. Has like the little red thing on the roof or the top. I uh, kind of wish it wasn't nighttime, but you know, what, uh, what are you, you going to do? You know, so we're going to head to this tower. It has the big red thing shooting out the red particles. And all we're going to do. Oh, don't zoom in all the way. It doesn't like that. We just have to touch this little purple thing that's on the roof or on the top. Kind of like graffiti. And there you go. The virus head badge is yours. All right. The next badge is called find the golden coral. Ooh, reward the fish. This badge, it's going to be kind of hard to see because it is nighttime. But when you spawn, you'll spawn, uh, you'll face this river. And you can kind of already see it. It's sitting there in the water. All you got to do is run in and touch it. And I do already have this badge, so it won't pop up for me. But there you go. That's all you got to do. The next badge is called Find Az Az Azel Skull. I can't read that. Uh, you get them as a reward, though. However you say it, Az Azazel. Listen, all right, I'm sorry. To get this badge, you want to head over to the snow area again, and you'll find something in the tree. So if you're facing it, you want to go to the uh, bottom right part of the map, and the thing in the tree will be on this tree in the corner. So we're just going to fly up to it. Uh, can't zoom in all the way, unfortunately, and we're just going to touch it. It's right there, and it is kind of hard. There we go. We finally got it. So there is that badge. All right, for the next one, uh, this one is called Toxic Box. Cough, cough. Reward Toxic Creatures. So to get this badge when you spawn in, all you want to do is turn around, face the houses, and go to the right corner. The little tiny hill over there. Uh, this is like the radioactive area or something. And when you get close enough, you will be able to see this green smoke coming up from it. That's how you know you're in the right area. So we want to go to this little town or a couple of houses over here. And we're going to drop down into this bunker through the hatch. And all you got to do now is turn around, go through these two doors, and you'll see a green box. And that is the badge. All right, the next badge is called Dark Box. Text error 505, name true, reward dark box creatures. So to get this badge, you want to face the snow area and go to that mountain on your left over there. Uh, so all you got to do is fly to it. Pretty easy. All right, when you get closer to this mountain, uh, we'll cancel all that. You'll see there's a big hole right here. So you want to stop flying because you will glitch all over the place. Uh, we're going to fall down and we're going to be, uh, we have three paths to pick from. You want to go to the right and we're going to hug the right wall the whole way. 
uh, just so nothing bad happens to us. Oh, like that. Okay, just keep going. Uh, you will fall through the floor, so just keep hugging the right wall. Keep doing it the entire way, uh, just because if not, we'll probably die. Uh, like that. So good thing we were hugging the wall so that we didn't die. Uh, now that we're at another crossroads right here, we want to turn left, and there's the box right there. Uh, so we're going to go in, we're going to jump on it, and the dark box is ours. All right, the final badge I'm going to show you how to get is called Colossus the Trevor Mega Titan. Find Colossus' nest or make the owner laugh. Reward, Colossus. So for this badge, it is going to be hard because it's night again, but when you spawn, you'll be facing the volcano that we just were at and the snow area. You want to turn around and this time, we're going to go to the left corner. So when you're facing the houses, go to the left corner of the map down there. All right, and when we're at this mountain, we're actually going to go off the map and fly underneath it. Uh, so you actually do have to be this flying creature to get this badge. And now... We're looking for a hole that's under here somewhere. There should be a giant cave under here, uh, but it is nighttime, of course, so it is difficult. Also, I forgot I was flying, and I pulled out the lantern and almost died. That would have been unfortunate. I would have been pretty sad, I gotta say. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you gotta go down a little bit further to find it. Uh, so, here it is. And all we're going to do is fly inside. No, thank you. Also, if that thing pops up, please hit no. Uh, it even says it in the spawn that that's not part of the game. And for this, it's not a maze or anything. All you got to do is follow the path, the tunnel, uh, the secret tunnel. And then you'll be there. And now we're in the nest of the Colossus. This place is huge. To get the badge, all you got to do is touch the eggs. And boom! Boom! The badge is yours. So I'm going to go ahead and reset and I'm going to show you how to open the secret doors or not really secret, but the doors with the codes over here. All right. So when you get all the way down here past all the badges, you'll find two doors, one for the call for dance meme and the other for a killosaur. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, so they each have a code. The code for the first door is seven zero seven then you can enter and look it's a coffin dance that's great fantastic i'm kind of glad we don't have sounds on because i have no idea what kind of sound would be playing right now and then oh wait what you're holding a sword that's kind of cool and then the code for the killer sword door is three four five four enter and there we go and we get the killer sword which is just kind of like a little dinosaur. Look at him. He's a good boy. There we go. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and become some of the badge animatronics or badge morphs, I should say. This isn't FNAF. That's my bad. Actually, before I become the badge morphs, there is Siren Head and, of course, that cat thing over there as well. So I do apologize. I don't know the name of these things. And uh, you guys got to tell me what these are all from. I'm assuming they're made by a Trevor, but there isn't really much I know about all these characters. So if you guys could help me out in the comments below, I'm like 90% sure they're not SCPs. Uh, so you guys got to help me. I'm a noob. I'm sorry. Uh, then there's this thing, of course. This thing is... Oh, look at his arms. That's so cool. The way it moves its arms are very nice. All right, so let's reset. Now I will show you guys the badge morphs. All right, so I'm just going to go in order that they are here so I don't get confused. Also, there are some that we didn't get. I don't know if they're not in the game anymore or they're not yet or they're events. I don't know, like the Kota Suba box, uh, the fake dark box, the fly pig, uh, Modius, and Subway trade. Uh, I don't know if those are in the game yet or at all. But anyway, here is the toxic Siren Head. This thing is really cool looking. Look at it. I don't fully understand what I'm looking at here, but either way, this thing is pretty great. 
Uh, so there's that. Now I'm going to reset, and I think we'll do the dark box next. Oh, there's so many in here. Look at all of these. There's so many. These are awesome. So I'm probably not going to become all of them, uh, just because there are a lot. Uh, but here we go. That's the dark box. Then over here, we have the Az Azel skull. I don't know why I'm reading that so hard. Oh, what is that thing? Uh, that is pretty cool. Actually, I can just look over the side. Oh, this is him. That's what that name is. That guy. Nice. Uh, that for Golden Coral. We oh, look at him. He's adorable. What is that? Is that a fish? Is that like a little goldfish and an ice block on its head? I don't know what that is, but that is very nice as well. Uh, that, of course, Virus Head. That is awesome. It's basically Siren Head, but he's all purple and virus-like. Uh, then we don't... Wait, is that is that the war? Uh, no. Oh, wait, it is. Yeah, that is the war badge. Uh, then it's like a, a small Siren Head. I don't... Oh, that's the nuclear siren. Don't know why it's called that. Don't know why he's so short either. But hey, I'm, I'm not going to judge. And then finally, the Colossus badge. Uh, and... Whoa! What? Is that all he is? His legs? Hold on. I know I said I wasn't going to become all of them, but I, I got to become this thing, all right? Oh, there's a lot of blood. All right, the Colossus badge. Let's check it out. That's insane. Oh! Oh, wait, it's still... What is that? I, I literally can't even look at it. It's so large, I can't even fully look at this thing. I mean, it's definitely a Colossus, that's for sure. Look at that. Look at It's so scary. Very, very nice. That is awesome. The creatures in this game are fantastic. I don't really understand what all of them are, but they all are very terrifying. So, I'm actually going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. And, of course, leave a like on this video. And whenever you're buying Robux, use star code gallant and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos plus i do daily guide videos as well badge guide videos i mean so if you want to find any badges uh make sure you subscribe to my channel as well because i'll show you how to get them but probably eh, maybe so that's it for me i will see you guys in the next video bye